everyone, it's Kidoo, and in this video I'm going to be giving you guys a closer look at Holo's 10th anniversary figure done by Good Smell Company. I think she turned out absolutely gorgeous. Please ignore the shaky quality of this video. Again, I'm using my iPad to film this. It is very large and hard to hold. I'm going to do a quick 360 for you guys. She's so gorgeous. I love her so much. God, I wish I had a better camera. I'm so sorry. This is all I have at the moment. Um, The way the beer in this fucking mug looks amazing. I don't know why I needed to swear there. It seemed unnecessary. I only have, like, very few complaints about this figure. I think she is absolutely gorgeous. I love Holo, and this is my favorite figure of her that they've made so far. So, so happy that I ended up getting it. Do not regret it at all. She actually ended up being one of my favorite figures that I own. So, that's pretty awesome. I'd say my only complaints are the fact that her hair and her tail are blowing in the different directions. I don't know what flow they were going for here, but it just seems odd to me. Doesn't that seem odd? Doesn't, don't you think her tail should be going in the same direction as her hair? I don't really know exactly what's going on. Regardless, though, I think she looks beautiful. Her ears look super cute. I absolutely love her face. I think the expression... I know people were complaining about her face, saying her smile is too large or something. But in my personal opinion, I think it really, really matches the original art style of the light novel. And I think it suits her a ton. Like, it just... It, that, that is her face. That is her face. Like, look at her. She's adorable. Love the little off-shoulder we've got going on here. And she has a little bag of wheat on her chest, I guess. The little necklace thing. Um, I love the fabric belt that she has with the little bead. This outfit is really, really pretty. The little bead was such a nice touch. I think it looks so cute. I love when they add stuff like that and it's like clear, see-through-y. And the way they did the beer in the cup as well. Like the detail is so cool. The way it spills up or splashes up. Like, that looks awesome with the, like, clear plastic. And then the shine on the mug and just, like, the details on the wooden mug. Like, all that to me looks so good. You can even see the details on the stitching here on the side of her dress. Which I think is an amazing little detail they added. How the little strap there looks metallic. Um, the base itself, the way they did the grass and how they shaded it. I'm so happy they actually made the base something a little more unique like this. Not just like some flat plastic base. Like it looks really pretty. Um, the You can see the like stitching on the bottoms of her shoes. See the little details there. She has her little anklets right there. Sorry, it's kind of dark so it's hard to show. Those look awesome. Just the dress in general, like everything, the attention to detail on this figure is fantastic. And her ears look cute and fluffy on the inside. She's so adorable. I love how her face turned out so much. I'm sorry, I sound like a broken record. The sculpt on her hands are really nice too. And her fingernails are painted, and if you've seen my other videos, you know that I am a huge, sorry for the shaking, I'm trying to like readjust. I'm a huge sucker for painted fingernails. I don't know why, I guess it's just an added detail that I absolutely love. But yeah, the sculpt on her hands are quite nice. I love the poses they're in. This hand looks a tad more awkward because her fingers look a little more stuck together. Um, so yeah, this hand looks a little more awkward in my opinion because those two fingers look kind of fused together. <laughs> Uh, so if they had that fixed, I wouldn't complain, but like still, the sculpt still looks very nice, like the overall outline of it. She just looks so beautiful. And my only other complaint was focusing on the fact that the, the fur on her tail doesn't really look like fur. So she's a wolf, she should have wolf fur, not horse hair for a tail. <laughs> As you can see, the, the hair on her tail is very, very long, and, like, it looks more like hair than it looks like fur. 
So that's my other complaint is just the fact that it looks like she has a horse tail instead of like an actual wolf or fox tail. Um, I will show you a comparison here with uh, her other figure that came out from Good Smell Company a little bit back. So I'm just trying to show you a few more details on it. And her like little tooth. Her little tooth. So cute. Anyways, here's the comparison. Here is the other figure. Um, I'm pretty sure this one is one seventh and she is one eighth. So you can see the size difference here. These are the two side by side. I personally prefer the 10 anniversary one. So the current one that we're talking about. Um, I think her hair color is nicer. I think her face turned out a lot nicer. This was one of my favorites from before. I still really love this figure. She has a ton of hair. Her tail looks a little better fur-wise, but I mean it still has that longish hair to it. She has a crazy amount of hair in this figure, to the fact that her hair needs its own friggin' stand, uh, which I complain about a little bit. But she's still super cute. I really like the pose. Um, I, I like her a lot. But now that I have this one, I just think the overall art for it the whole piece itself, the base comparison, I just greatly prefer this one. Also, just the, just the detail, like, she's so, so good. I'm so happy that I was able to get a hold of her. But yeah, these are the two side by side. To give you guys an idea of the two figures, I'm not sure which one you guys prefer. If you have a preference, please comment in the description below. Some people, like I said, don't like her face. Um, I actually prefer her face a lot more than hers. I just think it's more hollow, more mischievous, matches her personality a lot more. Although, again, this one is very cute. I think it just lacks that, um, I don't know, hollow essence. Like, this one here, she is just true to the original art. And that makes me very, very happy. But that is pretty much all that I can say about this one. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. I'll try to respond to them in the comments but yeah so thank you guys so much for watching i'll link all of my social media in the description below along with my affiliate links through cd japan and tokyo taco mode if you purchase anything for those links i get a small commission so thank you very much for that i really really appreciate the help guys anything like if you buy anything for those links i get the small it's just it's great it's great thank you so much it helps me a lot especially now that my hours have been cut at work so like <laughs> you know how it goes um but yeah so that is all. I will link the unboxing in the description below as well. If you didn't check out that and you want to see how she was packaged, you can go on down there. But that is all. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!